In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a cool feature in Photo Mirage you might not have tried. I'll show you how you can customize the animation of your photos by adding nodes to make your animation go back and forth instead of just in one direction. This gives you endless ways to get creative with your photos. Before we get started, if you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along. Let's get started. Open Photo Mirage and on the main screen, click on Open to upload an image that you want to animate. I'm going to open up this image of a goldfish. The first thing we'll do is click on the Anchor Points button and draw anchor points around the fish's body so that the animation won't extend past its tail. Now I'll click on the motion arrow icon and draw an arrow on the fish's tail. Before we try out our new feature, let's click on the play button to preview what this looks like. I want to try making a motion to look like the fish's tail is moving back and forth. What I'll do is hold down control on my keyboard and then click in the middle of the motion arrow I've already created. You'll see that this adds a little square node to the arrow. Now carefully click on this node and drag it in the direction you want to make the animation follow. I'm going to pull the node down a little bit. Now let's press play to preview the difference between this motion and the last one. You'll see that the tail is now moving back and forth, giving it a different style than the first one. You can make adjustments to the motion by clicking on the tail of the motion arrow and dragging it in a different direction. Now I'm going to add another arrow on the other fin and again press control on my keyboard and click on the middle of the arrow to add a node. I'll drag the node down again to make a back and forth motion. Let's press play to preview and you'll see that both the tail fins are moving back and forth independently, giving the illusion that the fish is swimming around. In this next example, I have a picture opened up of two different women facing the water with their hair blowing in the wind. I thought it would be fun to try using the standard motion arrow on the blonde woman's hair and experiment with the back and forth motion on the brunettes. First, we're going to add anchor points around both women separating them and restricting the movement to just their hair and not the background or their bodies. Now I'm going to add three short motion arrows facing downwards at the bottom of the blonde woman's hair. I'll also add three arrows to the brunette woman's hair as well. Let's press play to preview how these look with the standard motion direction. So now let's hold down control on our keyboard once again and click on the middle of the motion arrows to create a node. This time I'll drag the node to the left so it will make a motion going from left to right. Now I'll repeat this with all three arrows. You'll see that once I do this with all the arrows, it appears as though our motion arrow has been reset because now all the arrows look the same as the one on the blonde woman's hair but they are still going to follow the motion pattern we just created. You can tell this by clicking on the Select button and dragging a box over one of the motion arrows to select it. And now, when you move this arrow around, you can see the outline of the back and forth motion we just created. You might even want to add more back and forth motion arrows to create a fuller effect over all of the woman's hair. Remember that you can adjust the speed of the animation by adjusting the speed bar to the right or left. And now let's press play to preview our animation. You'll see how the blonde woman's hair follows a simple downwards motion, while the brunette woman's hair has a wavy back and forth motion. These are just a couple of the fun ways you can experiment using this feature on your photos. If you're watching this video on YouTube, you'll find a link in the description below that will take you to our tutorial page on the Discovery Center. Here you can download a written copy of this tutorial to follow along and find other helpful tutorials for Photo Mirage.